during this time of the year, particularly in August, it tends to be an area or a time of the year where we can't get impacted by tropical cyclones and a tropical storm. So definitely right now there are no systems set to affect Trinidad and Tobago, but that tropical wave is set to obviously bring unsettled weather across the Windward Islands. So the Meteorological Service will continue with its adverse weather alert until Saturday at 4 p.m. Scattering of some of those showers may cause street or flash flooding. So watching for those uh, heavier bursts through Saturday morning, particularly around uh, the hillsides of uh, Tobago and along uh, the uh, western areas through Castara down towards uh, Buku and into Kenan. A few early morning thunderclouds are likely and a heavier burst there as well. As you go through the day, conditions will improve, but you won't get away from those passing showers continuing into the evening. Meanwhile, for Trinidad, looking for still lots of cloudiness and some of those early showers popping up around the western areas of Trinidad. The possibility of a heavy shower as well that could turn the thundery first thing in the morning. But as you go through your afternoon, look out for the clouds to remain, but the showers to at least become fewer as you go through the Saturday afternoon and into the evening. Similarly, for western areas of South Trinidad through San Fernando and Point Fortin, an early thunder shower is possible. And then once you get through your afternoon, watch out for clearer skies, particularly out towards Rio Claro and the Guaraguari, clearing up from the east, but still maintaining some clouds in the west. So temperature-wise, looking at a comfortable 31 degrees Celsius for both Trinidad and Tobago through Saturday. And for those heading to the seas, we'll continue to keep conditions in moderate for the most part, one and a half metres through the Caribbean, maybe stretching to two metres the further offshore in the Atlantic. They notice those uh, northeasterly swells of nine seconds and a gentle east-southeasterly breeze is expected to end the day after some rather fresh conditions first thing in the morning. And for those heading out to the beaches, you've got your high tide at 9.30 a.m. And then at 9.30 p.m. is the evening high tide. Now, as you go through a Sunday, brighter conditions expected. A lot more sunshine to come, especially across Tobago. And then on Monday, the showers will likely return. We get a bit of ITCZ action pushing in some of those uh, thundery showers, especially for Trinidad. And then on a Tuesday, conditions will begin to brighten up quite a bit, especially for Tobago. But for Saturday, the adverse weather alert remains in effect until 4 p.m. Well, that's your weather and that's it from me.